though you're so young, we actually noticed that you've held like 116 concerts in the past decade, and that's a huge number. This year, you made it onto the 30 under 30 Forbes list. On one hand, you're growing the huge audience you earned in Asia with your roles in popular films and TV dramas, while also pursuing a serious career as a musician. Well, what career path you want to take in the future? Um, music has always been part of my life, and it's what I consider my rock. Music has not only given me um, stage publicly, but given me comfort, confidence, and stability. Between me and music, we have a special connection. I don't like to set a limit or a boundary for myself. So I think next step um, is not only perform others' music, but try to create my own music and perform it. People are curious that you grew up on the, the island of Taiwan, but decided to focus your career on the Chinese mainland. Mm -hmm. And actually, you identified with your ancestral home back in Jiangxi province. Why did you emotionally bond with the Chinese mainland so strongly? Um, so you know how Americans, they always ask each other like, oh, what state or city that you come from? And they identify them by state and city. But when they go abroad, um, they are all Americans. So similarly, I think when we are in China, we tend to focus on whether you are from um, Shanghai or Beijing or Shenzhen or Hong Kong. But at the end, we are all Chinese. The second thing is, I started to travel and work in mainland in the very young of age when I was 12. So I think the mainland, especially Beijing, helped form who I am 